Hey everybody, it's Amazon Queen. I am coming to you, oh lord, I think I'm like one week away from being six months out. So, what is that? Like 23, week 23, week 24 I think. Um, first off, let me apologize for not getting a video up sooner. Um, I've been having a lot of problems with my videos cutting out um, after only a few minutes and it's really been bugging me. So I haven't posted a video in a while just because I've been kind of mad at, um, <laughs> at YouTube. Um, but thought I'd get on here and give you guys an update on how I'm doing. Um, I got my official, <sighs> at my six month post-op appointment, my official 100 pounds gone button that I got. Um, and I'm very proud of myself. Um, I'm over, what am I now? And, ooh, no. My dog wants to eat the cat. Um, I am currently at 238 pounds. Um, I'm 107 pounds down from my highest. Um, almost 90 pounds since sur the actual day of surgery. Um, and I'm doing actually rather well. Um, I have lost over a foot um, off my waist. Vendetta. Sit. 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 Sorry. <laughs> Sit. Down. The cat's teasing him because I put him in their box while I'm doing my videos and he's not very happy about that. Um, but yeah, my doctor is very, very, very happy with my progress. Um, I am in a size 14 top um, and a size 16 bottoms. Um, I've actually lost a foot size. I'm down to a size 11. Um, ten and a half, depending on the um, style and the brand of shoe. Um, but yeah, um, I've lost 12 inches off my waist, um, which is pretty amazing when you really, really think about it that way. Um, the, the doctor is beyond thrilled, and so am I. Um, he was very, and he was like, and you're a sleeve patient, and you're losing this well. Um, my goal weight for my doctor is 185 pounds. Um, my goal is to get down to 170. Whether or not I can actually get to 170 is kind of iffy just because of my build and I am, you know, I'm not a teenager anymore. Um, and my doctor said that because of my build, you know, 180, 175, he said 170 might be pushing it on the um, being too skinny side. So we'll see. Um, as long as I never see the number two in front of my weight ever again, I shall be happy. Um, but yeah, I'm 53 pounds away from my doctor's goal of 185 pounds. Um, and he said that that is very obtainable before my one year mark. Um, he says that, you know, as long as I keep up the hard work I've been doing, and I really watch what I'm putting in my mouth that he sees no reason why I shouldn't be at goal weight before I even hit my one year mark. Um, and that was very encouraging to hear. Um, and it's just like, wow, I'm almost at goal. Um, what doesn't help is Angela was bad and I have to show you guys these. Um, let me get it a little close up on these. Um, these are German Christmas cookies. Um, these are called um, Lehmkuchen. And um, yeah, they only come out during Christmas time and they're from Germany. These are actually imported from, um, I believe these ones are made in Nuremberg. Um, and if, if you're a prior military or you know someone that's been, that's been to Germany because of the military, I lived there for almost four years because my dad was stationed there. And let me tell you, these things are awesome. Um, yes, these are cookies, but um, I think a serving size is 30 grams, and I think I weighed it out, and it ended up being like four or five cookies. I can only eat about two of these because they're so dense. It's a German um, gingerbread kind of cookie, so they're not overly sweet. Um, so it's a nice little treat, and I try not to have more than like one or two per day, if that, um, just because of my dumping problems. Um, so far, I haven't dumped on these. But that's because I've been really trying to make sure that I don't overindulge. And I only picked up um, one bag, and this is, you know, this is one bag. And at almost $7 a bag, because they're imported, yeah, I don't get these very often. Um, and my children love them, so they'll help me eat them 
so that way I'm not eating all of them um, either. Um, let's see here, a couple new things. Um, something else I learned while I was in California visiting my girls out there was that um, if you're getting the foamies and that's that phlegmy stuff that after you eat something you, you're, you're almost throwing up like this phlegm kind of stuff kind of like you do when you're hacking and coughing from a, a, a cold or something um, papaya enzymes or a little bit of um, um, room temperature um, pineapple juice and I mean just like a little tiny bit like a tablespoon or so will actually help digest all the protein and stuff that you have in your stomach um, I've had to start taking papaya enzymes because I've been getting those god-awful foamies and they suck so um, something to think about also I'm on a new iron and I don't have the bottle with me but I'll show you what the pill looks like and I ordered these from a company out of um, they're online and you can just google hemi iron h-e-m-m-e -M -M -E, or h-e-m-e uh, iron and it's a green pill and this is actually made from um, basically it's, it's, it's iron taken from red meat. Um, human beings are not vegetarians. Um, we, we do not have four stomachs like a cow does. Um, I am anemic, um, so much so that um, I have to take iron daily um, just to keep myself from you know being sick. Um, but I break this up into about two or three pieces and I take it at night and um, so far my labs have been really good for my iron so um, and this is one of the better irons to get the hemi iron um, a few people I know have actually had to go in and get trans or not transfusions but um, iron via IV and I would prefer not to have to deal with that um, another new thing and I actually got it today um, celebrate vitamins um, they're one of the, they're like kind of like Bariatric Advantage. They're one of the big um, companies out there that produce bariatric um, uh, nu nutrients, uh, sh protein powders, vitamins, all kinds of different kinds of vitamins. This is their new one. This is actually made specifically for sleevers. Um, people that get the sleeve need a little bit more iron um, because of the fact that most of our stomach is cut out um, and we don't absorb iron very well. Um, why it's a little bit different for um, bypass, I'm not sure, but this is a multivitamin and it actually has iron in it and it's chewable and this thing tastes like a sweet tart. This does not taste and it does not smell like a vitamin and if you guys have watched some of my other videos, you know that I cannot handle vitamin smells at all. This doesn't taste like a vitamin. Um, I've been taking a gel cap, um, Nature's Made for her. Um, with iron and f folic acid or something and it's so nasty it smells horrible it tastes horrible and if it's in your stomach digesting and you burp you get that nasty ass taste in your mouth it makes me want to puke just thinking about it um, but this is a new flavor that came out and I absolutely love it um, another thing I've been taking too and this is also from celebrate are the calcit bites the chocolate ones and they taste just like a chocolate truffle. The little fudge ones, it tastes like a little piece of fudge and I love them. So I eat about two of those a day. Um, probably next time around I'll get the lemon ones. The lemon ones taste like um, lemon bars without the little uh, cookie dough thing at the bottom of it. Um, but it tastes like lemon curds and I love it. It tastes really good. So those are the ones I'll be getting next time. Um, hmm. think any new weird products or anything that I've been trying um, I did go to a new protein powder um, I am drinking um, matter of fact I'm gonna run over and grab them so stand by sorry I should have gotten all this stuff ready before I started making my video but you know, hey, okay whatever okay so okay um, I know a bunch of people have tried this stuff, but um, I didn't re until recently start trying this. Vendetta! Sit. You cannot go after the kitty. He's really mad at that cat. Um, PB2. Um, this, is, this one has chocolate in it, but it's essentially powdered um, um, peanut butter, basically, but without the butter. 
Um, three grams of sugar, six carbs, four grams of protein for two tablespoons. And um, it is a powder. You can see that in there. And what's really neat about this stuff is that it scoops so easily into um, your shaker bottles or into your blender, depending on how you're making your shakes. But I've actually made peanut butter and jelly flavored shakes. And let me tell you, um, because I have to drink a shake in the morning, I can't eat first thing in the morning because I get sick. And this stuff has really been a blessing. I have the chocolate and then I have the regular. But it's been really, 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 really good. Um, so I highly recommend it. It is a little expensive. It's about $4 a jar. And as you can see, you know, it is a kind of a small jar, but it does last you forever. I've had this one for probably about two or three months. And it's probably a little more than half gone. Um, another thing is I am now a click addict. And if you don't know what this stuff is, you don't know what you're missing, especially if you're a coffee drinker like me. Um, why not get your coffee and your protein all in the same time? Um, this one is the mocha flavored double shot espresso coffee, 15 grams of protein, 25 vitamins and minerals, and only 120 calories. Um, it has 6 grams of sugar, 12 carbohydrates, so, you know, it's not too awful. Um, the fat's not bad, and it's got at least 20%... Um, of most of your vitamin A, C, calcium, iron, D, E, K, which is your potassium, thymine, roboflin, niacin, folate, B12, biotin, pitholinic acid, I know I'm like beating that one to death, uh, phosphorus, iodine, magnesium, zinc, selenium, copper, ma uh, manganese, and chromium. Um, it's got basically 20% of all those. A couple of them are 15%, but not many, and some of them are 30%. So it's not bad. And I like coffee in the morning, so this really does this really does help with that. And I'm starting to run out of time here. But this is the other thing I got. Um, if you go to the world uh, the world according to eggface.com, this is the protein powder that she tends to use the most. Is the Max Protein. Um, bless her heart, Michelle Eggy sent me a couple samples of. Um, max protein because they don't whatever for whatever reason they don't give out samples of this stuff and I think they should but it's really this stuff actually blends really well almost as well as the chike kind of stuff does and um, it's actually really good their chocolate one is one of the better ones I've had some of the other chocolate brands I've tried are just completely beyond um, but that's just about it. Um, I'm going to do another video probably either later tonight or maybe even tomorrow um, discussing Thanksgiving coming up and my menu because um, some people have been bugging me about what I'm going to make for Thanksgiving and I'm making a crap load of stuff. Um, a lot of it is uh, pouch friendly though so I'll let you guys know about that. But just wanted to let you guys know that I was still alive and I'm, I'm I'm doing really, really well, and I hope you guys are too. Um, I am going to try to catch up on my videos this weekend. Last weekend, everyone in my house was sick, with the exception of the baby with strep throat. Um, so we've all been recovering from that. But I love you all, and I hope you're doing great. Remember to drink your water, take your vitamins, and protein first.